Twilight Stephanie Meyer by Hope Gebler. Stephanie Meyer was born December 24, 1973, in Hartford, Connecticut. She has five other siblings and has always grown up with a passion for reading. She majored in English literature in college and is now married to Christian Meyer, and together they have three children. How Twilight Started Dream, and it was this really crazy, wonderful dream about a vampire and a human girl. And when I woke up from it, I didn't want to forget it, but I have three kids, which means short-term memory loss, and so I knew if I didn't write it down, I was going to forget about it. So for the first time in years, I sat down at the computer and just started typing, just almost like a memo to myself. Remember this great dream you had? And then as I got started, I really enjoyed the process. It was so exciting to be able to take these things that were in my head and put them down in a concrete form. Some of Meyer's major works include Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. And her genres of writing include vampire romance, young adult fiction, and science fiction. Some awards that Meyer has received are, in 2008, she was named USA's Today's Author of the Year and Most Influential Woman. In 2009, she won the Kids' Choice Award for Favorite Book. And in 2010, the Goodreads Choice Award for Best Graphic Novels and Comics. The series has sold more than 250 million copies and was also translated into 37 languages. Twilight was honored Best Book of the Year by New York Times, and the book series was later adapted into film. Three of my favorite quotes from the book are, about three things, I was absolutely positive. First, Edward was a vampire. Second, there was a part of him, and I didn't know how potent that part might be, that thirsted for my blood. And third, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him. My second favorite quote from the book is, The right thing isn't always real obvious. Sometimes the right thing for one person is the wrong thing for someone else. So, good luck figuring that out. And my last favorite quote from the book are, Even more, I had never meant to love him. One thing I truly knew, I knew it in the pit of my stomach, in the center of my bones, knew it from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, knew it deep in my empty chest was how love gave someone the power to break you. Why you should study this author. She's very personal in her writing, and it's kind of to the point where it almost feels t like too personal. And like, because I mean, she wasn't thinking about publishing or anything when she was writing. It was based on a, a dream, and she was kind of like compelled to write it rather than uh, you know she's not doing it for any other reason. And I think that shows in the writing. I, I genuinely feel like she can create an entire world. I mean, you, you can have a good idea about something, but that, and, and there are a lot of movies that do start out as a concept and stay that way, rather than being fully developed into something that you feel like you could actually live in. And the reason it's really sparked and, like, caught and really, like, spread is because it's such a vicarious experience. You really, when you're reading it, you're, you are Bella. People can connect with them. Um, they can connect with something about Stephanie's writing. What Stephanie's able to really, really um, 
explore well is, is, is what it feels like to be a young teenager, what it feels like to be going through your first love, your first breakup. Like first love and just how exciting and terrifying and wonderful that is. And I found that, that just to be addicted. The genius thing about this is that you, the supernatural element makes it more exciting and, and more fun to watch, but if you took that away, there still would be a great story. I've heard her try to answer the question too. It's like, how do you create a phenomenon? She's like, well, if I knew exactly how you, I would just do it.